Okay, so within, it's very early, very early in the situation. Uh, Indiana State Police was called to uh, assist in, in this investigation. Within the past couple hours, I don't have an exact time at this point, within the past couple hours, there was a double homicide in New Albany at a, a gas station parking lot in Beechwood and Grant Line Road in New Albany. As soon as that uh, situation, as it was happening, officers pursued the suspect in that double homicide. Uh, Floyd County officers, New Albany officers, and an Indiana State Trooper involved in a pursuit that came over here towards Charlestown Road. The suspect uh, exited his vehicle uh, here on Charlestown Road, took off on foot, at which time he took a hostage here in a local business at gunpoint uh, and forced that person into a car. I don't know if it's that person's car or not, but into a car. Uh, during that situation, at some point, that, it, that person became injured. We're still looking into the exact uh, timeline, exactly what happened. This, that uh, victim was not shot, but was injured possibly by being run over by their own car, trying to escape, or hit, being hit by the car, again, very early. Uh, at that time, the suspect was, had taken over that person's car, or a person's car, uh, attempted to run over officers who were there. Uh, those officers fired. Um, the suspect and the victim that was taken at gunpoint were both transported to U of L Hospital. So at those, this point, that's where we stand. Again, a lot of questions to be answered. We're looking into everything. We are assisting here. Indiana State Police is taking over the investigation here as far as the pursuit and the hostage situation. Uh, the double homicide is being worked by New Albany Police Department. So. Floyd County Police Department, New Albany Police Department, Indiana State Police Department will all be working in conjunction. It's, it's one large scene, a lot of things going on. It's going to take a lot of time, obviously, to, to get all those answers, but that's where we stand right now. So, do you know how critical the injuries are? I don't have any information on the injuries. So, again, the, the victim that was taken here from the scene uh, was not a gunshot or anything like that. It was apparently some type of a, a physical injury, possibly while trying to escape. Uh, we're still looking into that. There's been talk about possibly was actually ran over by a car uh, as she tried to escape, but we don't know. So, and then the, the victim was taken here from a local business. Uh, the the suspect fled, left his vehicle, went into a local business here, and took a, a person by gunpoint uh, out to the out to the vehicle. So we. We're making assumptions that we don't want to make. We can assume that it was that person's car, but we don't know those things for facts. So we just know that that person was taken to a car uh, at gunpoint, and then at that point the officers are, were there, and he attempted to run over the officers. The suspect was shot while he was still in the car. Um, the victim, not sure exactly the relationship where they were at that point, but I believe they were not in the vehicle at that time. So uh, again, early, some of those facts they're not facts. Some of, those, some of that information may change as we get more information and get that timeline all worked out. Are you able to, I'm sorry, are you able to name the business? At this point, I'm not going to name it just, just because it's still very early on. I, you know, we do know exactly, obviously which business it is, but just want to make sure before we get everything uh, straight before we start naming actual names and businesses. And just to be clear, you said the suspect was driving the car at law enforcement? The, the, the inf early information is he t attempted to run over the law enforcement there that was there trying to stop him, uh, at which time they opened fire on him. Yeah, I don't, I haven't even been through all the crime scene myself, so I, I can't say exactly which vehicle's which, um, again. He was a, a vehicle from the crime scene in New Albany, but I don't have that information at this time. Excuse me? Again, it's still early. I don't have information on that either. So, a lot of questions. Again, you're talking about uh, a, a crime scene, a major crime scene in one city. It transfers over, you know, uh, several blocks away, multiple agencies involved. So, uh, you know, at this point, we're thankful that the, the victim here uh, is, you know, for all information that I have will be okay. Um, they were both transported to U of L Hospital. So, uh, just that's preliminary information. The best we can do right now to give you guys something. But uh, as we get more information, we'll update you.